Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Now today we do not have a teacher who's going to speak while I shuffle. What I thought I'd do that is a little bit different is that we will go on an adventure. I have turned up to today's reading with no thoughts of my own. I genuinely have no idea what we're going to look at today and I've been busy all day. You'll see that these are the moon cards only. I recorded some little shorts videos. I don't know when I will launch them. Uh, you know, I, I feature each card. One of you wrote a comment saying, would you please uh, show us what's in your card set? So yes, there'll be a little shorts video per card and you'll be able to hear my thoughts on each placement as well. Uh, the, each video is a minute long and I think that should be a, a nice little series. I'm going to do one for every single card. And I've been busy doing that today. I had to record the whole moon set twice because the audio didn't record <laughs> one half of me doing it. Anyway, so I turn up today with no idea what we're going to talk about. And I thought what we would do is something I've never done before, but I've always wanted to do this. We will let the jar tell us what the topic is today. Actually, I think I did do this in Australia. I'm sure I've done this style of reading where we just pick the topic out of the jar. So let's do that. I do not know what is in here. Um, let's just, all right, let's take that one there. There we go. And I'll read this and then I'll write down the topic so I stay on topic. So... All right, learning never exhausts the mind. Leonardo da Vinci, that's super cool because today I have been just full on busy, busy, busy and I've been learning and recording and doing things, learning. What are you learning? Let's have a look at, okay, so the topic is going to be learning never exhausts the mind. What are you learning? What are you learning here? And I'll do this, I'll do this over here so it's actually neat. Um, what new things are you learning? How about that? What new things are you learning? What new things are you learning? How about it? Let's go for it. I didn't know that was going to be the topic, but that is going to be the topic. Okay, let's see what comes. I like this topic, actually. This is a good one because, gosh, when you're, all on, when you're on the spiritual path, it is all about learning constantly, isn't it? We're just always learning new things. So that's really appropriate, actually, that we've got all these moon cards out because we will see moon is the mind and let's take a look at mind okay that seems to want to be here so we'll take it so we'll have a look at that in a moment and we will shuffle one of these I'm going to see what are you learning I like this topic this should be good I hope you are having a good week wherever you are and I hope the weather is nice where you are as well. I must say I am enjoying this English sun. We are having some good weather over here. Thank goodness. The summer is not totally, you know, covered in rain and clouds. And a few weeks ago it wasn't, you know, it was pretty grey. It was a bit, a bit of a worry. <laughs> like this is going to be another washout summer okay Let's see what's going on in your world and I'm going to take one of these as well let's have one tarot card I haven't used this deck in a very long time I really like this deck actually okay Let's see what's going on. 
so the moon what moon oh fantastic well you are learning a lot about yourself okay moon in the first house and as well you know this is yes learning about self that is what spiritual teachings and learnings are all about the ultimate question is who am i and if you contemplate that deeply enough you are suspended in what you are you know you go beyond thought don't you so well that's a great first card to get all right let's see what else we've got here advocate i love this card wonderful i think you're learning how to advocate for yourself how to advocate for your own needs possibly in relationships you have always been concerned with the other person more than you have yourself in fact maybe through your childhood you were trained to not care about yourself that it's selfish you know that that you're doing the wrong thing by uh, you know only looking after your needs and what we need to be trained to do ideally is to have a balance that you don't only look after the needs of others that you yes you look after the needs of others and you look after the needs of yourself you have to do both so there's something about you standing up for you we've got here light attribute inspires you to put compassion into action and i would say that that is compassion for the self on this occasion all right we've got here shadow attribute embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain yeah and i mean that is a, a sort of selfish kind of a thing there that's being selfish okay but you making time and space in your own life for your own needs is not selfish okay it's it's a good thing to do it's important very often and that's what yeah i mean when we're in relationship with someone else sometimes all of our love goes to that other person we forget about ourselves Oops. all right let's take a look at the next card victim all right yeah and we've got green hair and we've got green hair so this is definitely to do with the heart heart chakra is here and it does look like this is some situation to do with you and the other okay so more focus more of your own attention you need to kind of extract that or draw that out of the other person or the situation you need to bring your focus back to yourself victim yeah I think you are going through something tough at the moment that requires you to stand up for yourself when you get your energy back to you you'll see better you'll see more solutions you'll also see what it is that you need to do and there's some learning here learning never exhausts the mind so you are learning what new things are you learning i think you're learning some new things around standing up for yourself and that doesn't matter how young or old or experienced or inexperienced it has nothing to do with that in all these things there's always new things to learn it's incredible you know you get to yeah whatever stage you're at in life you get to that stage and there's new things to learn in every dimension it's just incredible and oh, that doesn't want to stay there <laughs> all right let's take a look indecision okay we had this a couple of readings ago we had this whole are you taking this path are you taking that path we'll shuffle on this we will take a look all right we've got the three of swords here this is very much to do with the heart there could be some feelings of heartbreak here a sense of things not working out a sense of things not going your way
sometimes we can feel powerless against a person this could also be a difficult situation this could just be some situation that you're in perhaps there's not even a person another person involved perhaps it's circumstances that are making you feel this way or a situation as well all right we're going to shuffle on all of this let's have a look let's go deeper and see what is going on in here all right now which cards do I want to take I would like to draw I'll draw a tarot card for this victim card here and I'll draw another one for this heart here I, I can't unsee it I just saw I'll show you what I just saw I saw the ten of wands okay so that is there is a burden there is some heavy thing take a look yeah it could be a situation and I'm getting that it's like it's hard to get out of these negative feelings that it's just you're just stuck in there or something like that so we're, we're gonna have a look at how to make this easy how can you start to let go and just start to Find the lighter feelings on your own, by yourself, within yourself, because that's where the lighter, good, loving feelings are. Okay, so let's let's take a look at victim and three of swords. So victim. Okay. And three of swords. All right. Victim. We've got the two of pentacles. And the first word that popped into my head here is time. Maybe you're feeling a victim to time. Maybe, gosh, and this is popping into my head as well, and this, this, this could well be me. <laughs> so I, I want to say that an astrologer might have told you that something's going to take a lot of time. Maybe you're feeling a victim to that. Um, yep, let, I will help you with that. I will help you undo my words. Believe me, I, I, I write. Anyone who books me for a reading, I give you a PDF where I've written the importance of free will, and I teach you and I show you there that get into the now. You can go beyond whatever the astrologer says. I really believe in that. So we'll have a look at that, I think, here. All right, the Empress. And the first thing I'm thinking here is that this energy is within you. It's not outside of you it's within you and yet it's like you're feeling cut off from this beautiful feminine energy within you and it's really interesting because today I was listening to a clip by Chuck Spezzano who explained that when we're constantly in doing mode when we're always doing and we're always fixing and solving and doing and creating we can in our lives create this independence that then cuts us off from our feminine side so what one of the things i'm seeing here is that a solution for you is to and this is whether you're a man or a woman it doesn't matter okay a big solution that you're going to need there's something about less doing and more relaxing more receiving more being is going to be important more feminine energy more taking care of your own needs advocating for yourself okay so it's there's something about you needing to Enjoy feminine energy more. 
at this time and I feel like if you do that this indecision you'll know how to act or what to do so we will take a look at this and we're going to use this deck here indecision so let's say oh I've got to take it I'll take I'll take two let's say you get into that feminine energy and you're feeling more connected the other way that you can get more into your feminine energy it might be hard for men to visualize that if we've got any men watching and you know how do I do this I don't know how to do it a way of doing that is spend time with your mother or your sisters or your female friends spend time with them uh, you know do something social do something fun with a friend not a partner I'm getting don't yeah don't uh, because some of the issues some of you might be having could be to do with a partner so but there's something about spending time with females if you're a masculine person and if you're female well it will be about yeah you've got to stop doing or I do have yeah popping into my head stop being so independent um, and again a way to not be so independent is yeah spend time with your friends spend time with your family you know I've, yeah I've got coming into my head pick up pick up the phone and have a chat with your mum if that feels like the right thing to do let's have a look at indecision get another card there are two let's take them both that's a lot of information let's see what have we got going on? Page of Wands. Okay. So you're indecisive about, yeah, an action, because action is fire. So I'm getting like the next step of something. The next step of how to create your Ten of Cups. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Four of Wands. So you really do want. To create a beautiful home life for yourself you want this beautiful home life this beautiful loving home life I can see what you want but I don't know why you're indecisive because it looks like if you act it will lead to beautiful things But it's like there's something about you being scared to act, maybe. Scared is a strong word, maybe. Let's have a look. Um, what do I want to shuffle with now? Let's have a look. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm, I'm still going with the indecision here. I still want to know. why is it okay Chuck Spitzano says the next step is always better and believe me my mind jumps all over that one I'm kind of like oh, come on Chuck Spitzano the next step isn't always better but he says no the next step in life is always better and when I've looked back at my life he is right um, so let's take a look at this so we, we've got confirmation that, that you, you take the next step it's going to be better let's ask the question why are you not taking the next step all right let's do that let's use this tarot deck here why are you not taking the next step in life why are you not taking the next step Yeah, I like that Chuck Spitzana says the next step is always better. And he says that because the next step is better, you don't want to take it. Now, isn't that mixed up? But it's true. That's why ego exists. Ego will do anything to block you from taking the next step. It's incredible. So this is some kind of internal struggle that you're having with yourself. So, okay, so why are you not taking the next step?
That might answer it. Let's see. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Yeah, because you are afraid. You're guarded. You've probably been hurt before. And you probably don't trust your own intuition. Okay, I can see that. This is about trusting yourself. And that is improving the relationship that you have with yourself. You need to trust yourself, which is another way of saying you need to love yourself. Where there is love, there is trust. You're not sure if you can trust yourself. So a way to, to look at this is to look back at all the times when you when it was right when it was right to trust yourself so when you did something and you're like oh thank god i trusted myself thank god i trusted my opinion thank god look back at all the many times there would be many 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 times where you got it right so look back at all those times You're not trusting yourself. What other information about your current state? Why do you not trust yourself? Take it. Well, because, well, maybe the word destiny comes into mind here. I mean, So why don't you trust yourself? And then we've got destiny. I need another card. This one you always need two. <laughs> you always need like one here, then this, then the next one. Let's take another one. All right, destiny and, because how do you feel about destiny? I've got thoughts about destiny, but then we'll see what comes first. Okay, nine of pentacles, oh wow. Maybe because you always thought you were destined to be on your own. It's an interesting one. When I think about the word destiny these days, I think about the fact that destiny is protecting me, actually. And I think the same for you. I think that so I think you're always destined because this is a card of being happy on your own, being happy and abundant on your own. You don't need anyone else. So I actually think that this is you. Whether or not you take this step or don't, or if there are people around you or family or you get married and have kids or whatever it is if you've got people around you or not it doesn't matter because ultimately you're always going to be okay whether you're on your own or not so to me it feels like you can trust yourself to have this new beginning yeah that's what I'm getting here Learning never exhausts the mind. You certainly are. You certainly are learning a lot about yourself through this experience, through this confusion, possibly. If you if you are confused and in this indecisive thing here, and you know time is looping or feel like there's no progress being made let's take a look at that 
what are you learning so what new things are you learning we've got a, we're looking at what new things are you learning let's have a look at what new things are you learning about time we're going to take a look at time what are you learning about time and i think we will take one of these again i don't know why i picked this deck up it's kind of weird to go for this deck but let's do it <laughs> What are you learning about time? Okay. Destiny, far out. This is a cool reading. And again, I'm getting this sense that you are protected. Your guides, your ancestors, whoever's on that other side, they are protecting you. Okay. I always, yeah, this is recent where I, I just think destiny protects a person and gets you to the place where you're meant to go. Even if you are kind of off track and not very good at picking up the cues, right? <laughs> Which I think that about myself, even though I use my intuition all the time and you know, I get good feedback from my clients and things like that, but I still doubt myself. I still think, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> kind of normal for me it's normal for me to doubt and be skeptical and all that but I do you know I, I do have a strong within me I do have a strong one thing I do have is I have a strong feeling that my destiny is protecting me and if you feel into that you might find that that's true for you that your destiny has always protected you you're protected I do feel that so I think what you're learning about time, well, that's an interesting one. I mean, if it's destined, whether you do it or not, it doesn't matter because the gods and destiny, they'll make it happen. What happened? Well, the creation of this very happy life, whatever that is for you, whatever your ten of cups is or your four of wands or whatever, I mean, that's going to be different things for different people. See, destiny and free will, that's, that's my whole life. I mean, that's, you know, so I, I, I deal with that stuff every day now. And when I do like a reading about time, like an astrology reading, I'm giving you a map of top potentials and I'm usually being very positive and very optimistic and all that kind of thing. But not kind of intentionally no I, but I, I look for the good things definitely but destiny will play out hmm okay let's get one here destiny let's take let's take one from the Vedic Astrology deck, just one for destiny. And this is minus the moon. Okay, so we drew the moon cards and this is the whole deck minus the moon. Okay, let's take it. Let's see what we've got. Wow, sun in the fourth. Inherits wealth, prone to worry, interested in occult and philosophy, clashes with authority and or father, roams, can't find comfort. Mm, but that is interesting. That's like, so the, the father is at home. Okay, we've got the fourth house of home. We've got the father, the son. Destiny. kind of getting that you're right on track that your destiny is playing out nicely like I think the only thing is that you probably just have to advocate for yourself a bit more so let's just check in with this and see what's the guidance for you advocating for yourself more so we'll take one of these this is quite a big reading today and we'll take one of the um, moon cards for the moon card 
So we'll take this one for advocate and we will take this one for, this is one of those moon type oracle cards for the moon. And then we're going to draw a couple of quotes and just see what comes. All right, so we'll draw, look at that last. But I actually think, I kind of get a sense here that you're, you're on track somehow. You might be feeling something to do with indecision, but uh, you're actually just fine. So if you advocate for yourself more, I think that's the only, so what new things are you learning? I think you're learning how to accept life the way it is. I think you're learning how to clear out the clouds, the dark energies, the confusion with loving yourself more, with connecting more with your feminine side. I think that it's destined for you to always be okay and you're always going to be protected. And if you act, you can have a beautiful home life, beautiful family. It's all just going to click into place. Just requires a bit of courage, that's all. And you advocating for yourself. You just need to advocate for yourself, stand up for yourself. Harmony, yeah. It's like you are missing you somehow. And the outer will just naturally reflect back more harmony. Good. And the moon in the first house, what do we have here? Oh wow, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Yeah, it's like your gods, guides, ancestors, angels, whatever you got on the other side, it's like they want you to take action. They want you to take action. And action's going to look like different things for everyone as well. Action could be clutter clearing your home. <laughs> action could be contacting someone. Action could be not contacting someone, you know. Action could be deciding, I don't ever want to watch pick a card readings again. <laughs> you know, that could be an action, right? That I don't need guidance. I've got my own inner guidance, you know. There's all kinds of different actions that people could take as a result of a reading like this. It's so interesting. I've gone through that a few times. I've gone through this whole, I don't, I'm not going to watch Tarot Pick a Card anymore, but I love them and I find them very relaxing. <laughs> I just like watching them. They're fun. Even though I don't really need guidance and everything's okay and you know but i enjoy watching them i think yeah sometimes the readers they start to become your friend isn't it you just want to see what they're up to all right let's take a couple of these and see what's going on confucius all right a man who has committed a mistake and doesn't correct it is committing another mistake yeah Maybe that's what you're indecisive about. You're indecisive about correcting some past mistake or something along those lines, you know. Uh, and maybe you need to. Equally, maybe you don't have to. Maybe, maybe just finding peace with it with, within is enough. You know, just that you feel peace inside and you can then crack on with your life. Maybe it's just that could be quite simple. Sometimes we make things out to be far more bigger than what they are, you know. I think I think this is something, you, there's something like you need to come to peace with something in your past. And you doing that within yourself and loving yourself, forgiving yourself, and you saying to yourself, do you know what, I passed the test. I did do a good job. I did the best that I could with the knowledge and consciousness I had at the time. If you can love that version of you who did the wrong thing at that time, it will dissolve. 
truly. I, did, I actually did this last night. I, I journal before I sleep sometimes. It just helps. And um, I did this exercise of just looking back at all the things where I think I've screwed up and just looking back and saying to myself and feeling the feeling of, do you know what? I passed the test. And when I feel that feeling, it's not a thought. You've got to feel it. Okay, don't, don't, you have to, you have to feel the feeling of I passed the test. And when you generate that feeling within you, I'm telling you now, it washes everything away. It really, really does work. And I did that. I looked back on certain things in my life and I thought, you know what? No, I did act well. And I did the best I could with who I was at the time. And I passed the test. And I just had a really positive feeling about my old selves that I've kind of silently been punishing inside for no reason. Um, and yeah, it, it felt really good. And I think I let go of a ton of stuff, you know, um, just by feeling the feeling of, do you know what? I did pass the tests. I did do a good job. That's being kind to yourself. You kind of let yourself off the hook and you create harmony within. That's, that's what's needed here, I think. Let me tell you, whatever it is, if, if you're feeling like you committed a mistake, mistake or something, I'm going to tell you right now, don't worry, you passed the test. Okay, just see if you can look back and see that you really did pass the test. You would have done. You, you might be looking at yourself in a very critical or harsh way or through the eyes of your parent or something. No, look through your own loving eyes and see that wonderful person who was, was just doing the best at the time, you know, with, with what they had. So I'm looking at you in that way. So hopefully you will look at you in that way. All right, let's take a look at this. I've got one by Denise Lynn, my old teacher. Go fast and you'll never have enough time. Slow down and there is time for everything. Yes, I like that. That's great. And that's this. It's like, I think maybe you've been frustrated with how long things are taking or whatever, but you know what? The slow journey is the better journey. I am discovering that every single day. What new things are you learning? Yeah, believe me, I'm in Saturn Mahadasha as well. You could imagine everything's slow in my world. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing goes quickly. Everything is super slow. So I think you're learning thing, things about time. And that actually the slow journey is the better journey. I think you're learning a ton of stuff at this time. This has been a really rich reading, guys. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. And hopefully you're going to do that exercise of looking back at things and just looking at how you did pass the test. Okay, there will be some ways in which you can look back at yourself and admire yourself and go, do you know what? I did things absolutely the right way. Yeah, I have nothing to feel bad about. It's all good. Just feel that loving feeling. Feel the harmony inside. Let yourself off the hook and just, just feel good. Just for one evening, you know, and just, just see how that improves your week. And let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Take care, everyone. I look forward to seeing you next time.